What's going on everyone? This is Silver Bass Stacker. And today I wanna to talk about my first time going to a coin show and how I experienced that, how it was for me. Mostly all the good, cause overall my experience was very good. I actually had a good time. And it was just like one bad thing. And I, would, I just wanna talk about it with you guys and maybe get some of your thoughts at the end of the video so in the comment section. So I went to my first coin show the place was about an hour away from me, so I had to take an hour drive. I decided to bring my wife and kids. My kids are starting to get interested in coins, so I decided to take them with me. So we went there. Uh, we went through the door. They were doing a raffle. So one was free, one was you had to pay for. So I decided to do both. I paid for it, one of them just for fun and to try to support it. And the other one was free so i just participated in it and so did my kids and my wife we all just participated in it so that was fun like right from the door it was it was like a great feeling it was a great atmosphere everybody was excited and you know the interactions were good so i, I didn't know what to expect so when i went in there it was it was like a great environment and when i walked inside i see all the tables full of coins bunch of stuff so I just started walking around browsing. Everybody, for the most part, is very nice. And yeah, there was just a ton of stuff. A lot of tables. I think there were over 50 tables there. There were over 50 tables. So just under 60. I don't know what the, what the exact number was, but it was definitely over 50 tables. And I'm going from each table looking at stuff. And when I started interacting with people, most people at the coin show were collectors. And they kind of asked me, you know, what was I collecting? What was I looking for? And I told them I'm, I'm mainly a stacker. Like, I just buy coins for the silver content. So I was just looking for stuff like that. So I was kind of looking for tables that had possibly junk silver or maybe a coin I was looking for. Stuff like that. You know, just coins I'm interested in. Pandas. Which I didn't see any pandas. Most of the stuff there... Well, American coins, I didn't see any, you know, Congo coins, you know, silverback pandas, uh, Australian coins, Perth Miss stuff. It was mainly just U.S. stuff, United States coins. So that was different. Like I said, I didn't know what to expect. So that's what I noticed. Everything was pretty much United States coins, nothing from other countries. For the most part, I got to one table and he had some um, world coins, some foreign coins. And that's when I decided to look at some of this stuff. Uh, just recently at my coin shop, there's a guy who specializes in world coins and he's been telling me about it. And he's into everything all across the world. So I figured I'll just start with like some Canadian stuff just to try to get myself familiar with. One thing I did like about the Canadian coins was that I like the fact that they're um, eight percent silver, but the silver dollars specifically have 0.6 um, ounces of gold. They have 0.6 ounces of gold. So if you get five dollars worth of the Canadian silver dollars, that is three ounces of silver inside. I like this one, right? This one, um, you know, definitely not in the best condition. But I guess some people like stuff like this. I personally don't care for it, but. I think it's cool that it has, uh, what is that? I think that's uh, King George. I think that's the fifth on the back. Looks pretty cool. And I got this stuff for him for, um, it was about like 5% premium. Like a 5% premium. Uh, they made it very, very clear. One of the guys made it very clear that they weren't going to sell any coins for um, milk. They were making sure, you know, they weren't selling. And no one's really selling because it was after that that pump that just happened. So everybody's prices were pretty, I mean, I'm not going to say high. You know, they're fair, especially under the circumstances coming out of, you know, coming out the week where everything was pumping. The prices were pretty fair. So, I, you know, I wasn't complaining about the prices. And I just wanted to pick up some, uh, like I said, I wanted to try the Canadian silver dollars. Try their, I think they call them scrap silver. I heard a lot of Canadians call them scrap silver. But I'm going to call them junk silver just because that's what we call them in America. I don't know if there's a difference. Like I said, I'm kind of new to even buying this type of stuff. But this is the silver dollar. This is their half dollar. Um, so I decided to pick up one of these. I think that's pretty cool. And if you get 10 of these, that will make three ounces of silver. So I just think that's cool that you can do the math fairly easy with the Canadian coins. It's 8% silver in there. 
but it's easy to do the math. So I think that's pretty cool. That's easy to do the math. And, you know, I talked to some coin deals about the Canadian silver dollars and the American coins and, you know, what they prefer. And I'll get into all that stuff in another video because this video, I just want to mainly talk about my experience at the coin show. So another thing that was nice is that I, I also didn't know what to expect. So they had a lot of food and refreshments. There was like pie. They had cake there. They had um, soda, hot dogs. They had a, a lot of stuff there. And I didn't expect a little... Fresh. I knew they said some refreshments would be there, but I'm just expecting like, you know, it could be like bags of chips or something. I wasn't expecting like hot dogs, pies, cakes, and all this other stuff. So that was pretty cool. Uh... So dude, that was nice that they had that stuff. And then, you know, I got my kids some stuff. They they love to eat. They love food. So that was good for my kids that they could eat. And my wife, she didn't get anything, but at least she had the option too. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the other thing I didn't notice is that, like, I don't, I, I just mainly, there's nobody in my immediate vicinity or people I interact to that are stackers like me. I'm kind of the odd person. I'm like an oddball. There's no, first of all, I wouldn't explain to people that have all the stuff I do. I, I wouldn't go around talking about it. But even if I did, people wouldn't really understand what I'm doing. It would make no sense to them. So going to these areas where people kind of understand what I'm doing, and there's some people there doing the same thing, it was nice being around other like-minded people. So that was cool. Um, I did notice that the crowd, though, my wife brought it up to me. The crowd was a lot older than I was. Uh, you could tell that a lot older folks enjoy coins, and, and you could tell that, like, maybe the, the younger crowd, especially, like, kids, um, maybe my age and lower, you can tell that maybe like people are not into coins as much as they used to be. And they're also the reason why I bring that is because when I brought my kids there, they were getting a ton of free stuff. Wasn't expecting that. There were people coming up, handing them stuff. Um, my, family, I, my, my daughter was nice enough to let me, um, have some stuff. So they got like some of these like barber nickels, like they got this for, for free. Um, the steel penny. You know, they were getting stuff like this. And they got more. I think they got, like, um, copper, like, one-ounce copper. Um, they were just getting a ton of stuff. They got booklets. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah, they also got, like, these. They got, like, some of these for free from people, you know. They're getting stuff like this. They were just getting a bunch of stuff. And some of them, they took to school, I guess, to show some of their friends. So I don't even have some of the stuff. But they were getting a ton of stuff. And I thought that was really cool because... When I took them there and they were getting all that stuff and they were interacting with people, they were having a great time and they had such a good time that they didn't want to leave. So so now I plan on going to another coin show and when that happens, they want to go really bad. They want to go to a coin show. So I thought that was a great experience for them. And I think a big reason why, why they were getting that stuff is because they kind of want the younger generation to still be in the stuff. They still want to have them involved with coins and buying things and so on. So it's cool that they got that kind of like encouragement from the older generation. I thought that was pretty awesome. So that was another great thing I had about the, the coin show that I didn't expect. Because like I said, I didn't know what to expect. But I definitely didn't expect that such a uh, great reaction from, from people offering them things and giving them information and so on. Um, another thing is that it's just a great community. Like that, It was just such... Everybody that's nice, very helpful, um, very welcoming. You know, I kind of didn't know what to expect because the place that I went to was like a smaller town. Been moving across, you know, the country because I've been involved in the military. It's one way or another, I kind of move around. Usually, I'm near uh, a city. I'm not usually in like smaller towns. So, but it was it was nice, man. There's people all over though. There's people traveling from Tennessee to come visit. Uh, and show this stuff. There's people from uh, Ohio. Uh, there's people traveling all over just to go to these coin shows. It's set up. I mean, I'm talking about the, the people setting up at the tables were from different places across the country, which was pretty cool. So that was a great experience. It really was. It was like I said, it's nice to talk to other people from other places. Now, there's only one weird situation I had that I'm going to talk about. And I don't know. Maybe I should put this in the end. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll edit it and put it in the beginning. Uh, to tell you that it's coming towards the end. The only weird situation I had was I talked to one person there and I told him that I wanted coins like this. I wanted something that wasn't a key date, was nothing special about it. Like it was just the cheapest Canadian silver dollar they had. That's what I told him I wanted, right? 
And there's two people behind the desk. Most of these vendors had a couple of people, like two, maybe three, but usually a lot, like two. It was rarely one person behind the table when I was there. And I told him I wanted something like this. And then he goes, he responds, well, I'm not selling anything I milk. And I said, that's fine. I wasn't really, you know, me personally, like if I get something I melt, that's a great deal, but I'm not expecting anything I melt when it comes to silver. I just don't expect it. I said, that's fine. I just want to get some silver dollars. Cause like I said, my coin shop was talking about coins from different places of the world. And I forgot to get Canada shot first since it's the closest country. And then he decided to start showing me like collectible stuff. And some of them, it was, it was no different in the price. Cause, um, but he started showing me like collectible stuff, like, other stuff was, I guess stuff like these, which is fine. Like stuff like this, which I don't even know what that is, to be honest. But I guess they're all like 1967 um, stuff. And I think this also comes from there. So he started showing me stuff like this. And really, I was just asking to see stuff like this. But it was like he didn't want to sell it to me. Uh, just because he knew I was looking for just silver content. He didn't want to sell me stuff. He wanted to like sell his stuff to collectors only. And I thought that was odd. Uh, so what I did, I decided to leave. I came back later. I would say about 15, 20 minutes later. And like I said, I was just looking. I was decided to come back because there were only people selling the stuff. I, the other stuff. I, want. I also bought these dimes when I was there. I bought these dimes. I have more of them. I think I bought like, I cleaned. There was only one person who was selling junk silver. And I bought, he only had like 66 dimes. So I bought all 66 dimes. So I did buy that, and then I came back to the table. I thought about the dimes, and when I did, the other guy came up, okay? The other guy came up, and I told him like, what I want. I told this guy what I want. He brought me right to the stuff. He said, this is the silver dolls. You know, there's there nothing special about them. I said, awesome. And then I just picked the ones that was, like, in the best condition that looked like this, and this is one of the better condition ones. I picked, like, two or three of them. And then he goes, how much did uh, the other guy sell for? I said, I don't know, because he was trying to sell me this stuff, which I ended up buying this because I was like, you know what? I did see this. And I kind of want to show you guys another video about this type of stuff. So it's more for like content for YouTube, but I was trying to buy a bunch of stuff like this. So I said, I don't know, because I he wasn't showing me this stuff. I bought some other stuff. And then he goes. He goes, because at first he told me that it was like seventeen or eighteen dollars. He wasn't sure. He's like, you sell for like seventeen or eighteen. So then he goes sell to the guy. The guy tells him to sell it to me for twenty. I was gonna buy it, no big deal. Like I'm not the couple of dollars. I never really, I'm not gonna make a big deal of it. But then he was like, no, I'm not gonna do it to him. That's what the guy who was talking to me. He said, I'm not going to do something like, let's sell something for nineteen. Like, I'm not going to do that to him. I'm not going to sell something for twenty. So that already like. Brought me the wrong way, like, why are you trying to charge me more than you normally charge? And why are you trying to not sell it to me? Like, when I just want to buy it for sale, why are you making it difficult to sell this stuff to me? And then he said to me, then he said to the other guy while I'm there in front of me, and he's talking to me too, he's talking to me and the other guy, he tells me that, oh, I don't want to, I, the reason is because one guy came here a lot of the time, or another time he was doing this, and wiped them clean of stuff like this. Wiped them clean. So it was like he didn't want to sell this to me because he wanted to sell it to people who like missing dates for something they're collecting. And I just sell them to people so they could melt it down or something or take it just to sell for the silver. So I thought that was interesting that, you know, uh, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know if that's the norm. This is my first time going. But that was like the one thing that kind of like was a weird situation. Everybody else was very nice. It was just that that exchange that I had. In this particular situation, I thought it was weird. And what I want to ask you guys, is this normal? Do like co people who collect coins don't want you to buy their coins because if you're just like a stacker? Is that a normal thing at coin shows or with certain people? I don't know. Like I said, this is my first time. I want to get you guys' opinion. I really want to know. Let me know if this is something I'm going to be doing with going to coin shows is that collectors or people want to sell for, you know, the collector value are not going to want to sell to me for the silver content. I just, I just thought, man, as long as you get the money that you want to get charged for, what does it matter? That's my opinion. But I guess maybe some people don't feel that way. So please leave a comment down below. Tell me if this is a normal experience, if you had experience like this, or you know, what's what your thoughts on it? And um, yeah, think about consider subscribing. I'm gonna come up with content every week, a couple times a week. I come out with content. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. And remember, get money. 
and take your silver back. This is Silverback Stacker. Until next time.